Hi, I'm Andrew, and uh, if you want to understand this video, hit the CC button so that you can see the words that I'm saying them, so that you can understand this video better. If you want to improve your listening skills, don't use the CC button, just listen. And I'll see you on the other side of this video. With the articles, uh, do you remember how many parts there are in an article? Okay, check with your partner. How many parts are there? Okay, so how many parts are there? Five. What's the first part? Then? 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 Okay. So, metadata. Then, what's next? And usually how many paragraphs? Yeah, for us, usually one paragraph. And then what's next? Body. 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 Usually how many paragraphs? Many. Can be one, can be three, can be ten, can be a hundred, whatever. But let, let's just go with two today. And then what's next? Conclusion. How many paragraphs? One. For us, yeah. And then next? References, I've run out of board. Okay. So, do you see those parts in the Copyright Basics article? I'll give you a moment now. Talk to your partner. Help each other. And say, maybe this is introduction. Maybe that's body. Maybe that's conclusion. Okay? I'll give you a moment. Go. Okay. Done. So, metadata. Is there a metadata? Is there metadata? Yes, no? And what is it? Yep. Just says article, basics of copyright. Then, is there an introduction? Yes. What's the first uh, six words of introduction? Great. And then, is there body? Okay. What's the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Words of the body. Okay. And then, is there a conclusion? Yep. And what are the first five words? Great. Are you okay? And how many references are there? Four. So it has everything, yes, no? Yes. Okay. Easy or difficult? I think easy. <laughs> Super easy, I think. Anyway, so that's a structure. And the next thing is to look more at the structure. And to do that, we need to go to page... 13, I think, page 14, 15, page 15. Don't read, don't read, only look. Don't read, only look. So, page 15. 15. Okay. So, do you see this plate with food? 
What? <laughs> so, everyone, do you see this plate with food? Okay, and contains, what does it contain? Please read. Lettuce. Relish. Great. So what is it? It's not garbage. What is it? <laughs> Salad? You don't know? Okay, let's go to the next one. This picture, what's this? Huh? Okay, so it contains what? <laughs> Same or different? Same. But you call this a salad and that's a hamburger. Uh, really, this is called an open burger. Ooh. What? <laughs> anyway, the point is, it contains the same thing, has the same information, but the hamburger is organized. So you can quickly and easily understand this. Understand? And so with the hamburger, you have the bread on top, then you have the stuff, then you have bread underneath. Paragraph should also be organized like this. If you go on the internet and Google search hamburger paragraph, you will find pictures like this. Seriously, in a moment. So, page 16. Here is more about the hamburger paragraph idea. And so, the top bread, what does that mean? Uh huh. And then the filling in the middle? Good. And then the bread at the bottom? Segway. Do you know Segway? Yeah, it's like that little motor thing that drives you around. But it also means link, like joining things together. So, can be linking two paragraphs together. Yeah, make a note. Hey. Um, a couple of things. The topic sentence is important. You really need that. All the supporting sentences relate only to the topic sentence. The closing sentence is kind of optional. Some paragraphs have them. Some paragraphs link to the next paragraph. So the closing segue sentence is not always needed, but your choice. Understand? Great. Check with your partner. What did I say? Okay. So you understand? Understand yes, no? Yes. Great. So looking at the first example, uh, what's the topic sentence? Okay, what's the topic sentence? Okay. And then what's the... Hmm, what's the closing sentence? Check with your partner. What's the closing sentence? Okay, so what's the closing sentence?
great. And so in the middle, what are the middle sentences? Wait, wait, wait. Looking at the hamburger paragraph, what are the middle sentences called? Okay, and how many key points are there? Three. Okay, I'll give you a moment to read this with your partner and try to understand. Let's go. Okay, so do you understand? Great. Easy or difficult? Really? Okay. So, uh, we looked at the structure of an article, and so I want to make it clear for the body, this hamburger paragraph relates mostly to the body. And so, no looking, no looking. What is first in the paragraph? You forgot already. <laughs> and then what's next? Supporting sentences, supporting sentences, supporting sentences, supporting sentences, supporting sentences, and then what's last? Closing. Or a segue or something like that. Ah, I can't spell. What's wrong with me? Anyway. And that's for how many paragraphs? for every paragraph you do in the body. So your body should always be like this. Understand? So if the topic sentence is about wombats are a good pet, can I write about zebras? Can I write about hotels? Uh, how about my favorite kind of car? Okay. Can I do that here? Write about my favorite chocolate? Yes, yes I can. My favorite chocolate is Cadbury. Because blah, 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 blah. In a different paragraph. Understand? Yes. Okay, now summarize with your partner. Let's go. Okay, do you understand? Do you understand yes, no? Yes. Okay, any questions? So the next thing is, can you look at the basics of copyright article again? And do you see the hamburger paragraph format? I'll give you a couple of minutes. Talk to your partner. Go. Okay, so do you see the hamburger paragraph format in here, yes, no? Okay, so in the body, in this, what's the first topic sentence, the first ten words of the first topic sentence? Great. And this paragraph, does it have a closing or segue sentence? Hmm, I think no. Not this time. Okay, next topic sentence. What's the next topic, topic sentence? Great. And does this paragraph have a closing or segue? No, not this time. Other paragraphs do, but not in this one. Understand? Yes. Okay. 
Any questions? No. All right. So the next thing is we'll start the reading comprehension questions and discussion questions. Of course, in English, only English when you talk. Simple English is okay. Talk with the person behind you. Let's go. <laughs> So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learnt something. So now, please hit subscribe and notifications so that you can be told when the next video comes out. Also, leave your questions and comments down below. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.